for the second part to the soap dish. And what I'm going to do now is just show you a couple other features you can do. So the first off is I want to set a parameter that, that basically I can define the thickness of this wall. So up in the model intent, I can go to parameters. And I'm going to create a new parameter that's just called wall. And I'm um, wall underscore thick. So that's going to be the wall thickness. And I'm going to default that to, let's say, 0.05. Okay, and hit OK. Now, all I've done is created this parameter called wall thick. Now I've got to assign it to the thickness of the actual walls here. So if I double click now, and there's my thickness of the wall, if I double click on this, I can change this. If I put wall underscore thick in here, and hit enter, okay, and what it says, do you want to add this relation d8 to equals wall thickness? I'm going to put yes, and you can see it automatically goes thinner. Now what that means is I can go into parameters and say, well, I really want that wall thickness now. It'll be back to point uh, one. Okay, hit OK. And it doesn't change until I regenerate it. And there's my regenerated uh, wall thickness. Okay, so that's that. So that's kind of how I can just default um, make some parameters. Now the next part is I want to actually create a couple ribs in here. So to create the ribs this time around, um, I want the ribs to be lower down in here, so I'm going to turn the display on, and you can see now I have my different, um, there's my top, my right, my front, and stuff like that. So I'm going to grab the top one, and I'm going to create a new plane up here. So I'll create a new datum plane, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to gr grab that datum plane, and I'm actually going to lower it down. So I'm going to put it right where that, uh, um, basically end of, the, end of the round is, and I'm going to hit OK. So now I just have a different reference plane to work off of. And once I've done that, basically all I'm going to do is say, well, I want to sketch something. So I'm going to sketch on that plane. And I'm just going to sketch a um, rectangle. And I'm just going to grab it from here and just go all the way through it. Doesn't really matter right now. All right, hit OK. And again, all I've sketched is you know, the rectangle, but I haven't extruded it yet. So I'm going to click Extrude. You can see it goes through. Now, like previous tutorial, or like the previous tutorial, I can come up here, and I want to let it intersect with um, all surfaces, and it basically sets it, cleans it up nice like that. Okay, and I'm just going to accept it, and away I go. So there's basically my um, rib in there. Now the cool thing about this program is I can make the rib thickness related to the wall thickness. So what I can do now is say, well, geez, I really want that rib to be a bit thinner than the walls at all costs. So if I double click the rib, okay, and I come into the thickness of it, which is right in here, so I'm going to zoom in, okay, there's the thickness of the rib, and I'm just going to kind of zoom out just a tiny bit so you won't see this happen. Okay, hold the shift key down, I'm just going to pan it up. So I'm going to come into here, double click, and I'm going to say, that the wall thick times 0.5. Okay, so what that means is whatever the wall thickness is, the thickness of this rib is going to be 50% of it. So when I do that and I hit enter, you will see it's going to create a relation and it's going to th go thinner. And then I just hit accept or just double click out here a couple times and it'll regenerate. Now, if I go model intent, parameters, and I change this thickness to, I don't know, 0.2, hit OK, and again, nothing's going to happen until I hit Regenerate. You can see that everything regenerates thicker. Okay, And basically now, you can see that that rib is a bit thinner, or a bit thicker. Go back to Parameters, and change that to 0.1, and now the relation changes, Regenerate. Okay, So, that's the next step. Now, finally, what I want to do is I want to put a whole bunch of ribs across. So to do that, I select the rib, right mouse click, hold it down, and I go pattern. And pattern's right there. Okay. And once I've got the pattern in here, I want to select, first off, the dimension. Okay. So I'm going to grab this dimension. Okay. And once I've got that dimension, I'm also going to go and say, well, I want that to go like seven times. So put out and all that worked out perfectly. So you can see how it's kind of patterned seven times at that dimension. Okay, if I want, I can change it to 0.8. Right, you can see that it goes a bit further. Okay, and I'm just going to uh, say, okay, well, I only want that six times now. 
Yeah, that's about close enough for what I want to do. And I just hit accept it, and there now I got my ribs. Now again, I can always go back in and edit them, right? So I just click somewhere else. I can go back to the pattern, right mouse click, edit definition, right? Say, well, I don't want it 0.6, I only want it uh, 0.5, right? And now I want um, eight of them, okay? And that looks close enough. And I can change up all these other dimensions and things too. I'm gonna accept it, and there we go, there's my ribs done. Okay, and again, you know that you can go back and change the height of this or the size of it. Now everything will change. You can actually even make these ribs proportionate to the height of the soap dish. So the higher the soap dish, the thicker these ribs are, the higher the ribs get. But that's basically the tutorial on how to you know, pattern things, how to shell out, draft, things like that. And I will leave it at that.